on the road. You swing on the map. You gotta just be boring old music. Hey, this is a good idea. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see the result before I call it a good idea. Whoa! You know what? It's almost like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> kind of. Maybe I should try to pull myself up there. <gasps> Maybe I should. That certainly isn't a good idea. You got a little bit of entertainment. I'll try one more. See if I can make it from here over to my stand. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Um, okay, guys. So, yeah. Hey, you know what I'll do? I'll uh, pull up my bench. Oops. <laughs> she's about tripped. She likes got caught in there. All right. We'll talk about <coughs> the last topic. That's right. Let's talk about the last topic. Statistics. Conceal as much as they reveal. Discuss this claim with reference to two areas of knowledge. That is number four. Okay. I had you guys work, at least people in my class. We've already worked with this one a little bit when I did the statistics lesson specifically. So, to do this question, take a look again at the statistics lesson. Okay? And so you need to focus. So, statistics conceal, meaning they hide as much as they show. It's really not a complicated prompt. It's, you know, like I said, we've talked about this before, at least in my class. Um, and so, so they hide as much as they show. And so what you need to find is cases where this is true. You need to agree with it and disagree with it. And there's a lot of things that you could do. And I think that people are going to be tempted because it's an election year to talk about the residential polls. Um, but remember, a presidential poll is not human science, per se. Just because it's a poll does not mean it's human science. If you're gonna talk about human science, you're gonna talk about statistics and human science, which is important, that's absolutely fine. But don't get the fallacy that you know a simple poll is human science, it is not. They're not the same thing. Human science uses polls and they use statistics all the time, which is very important, but it is not the same thing just somebody polling or asking people questions. It's not human science, okay? So don't make that mistake. I know many people will. Um, maybe not here at the school, but you know, generally. Um, but anyway, so let's see. Can statistics reveal, conceal as much as they reveal, discuss this claim of two areas of knowledge? So it's saying that they are equal, I guess. That they conceal as much as they reveal. And that there's an equal amount of concealment and revealment, if you will. Um, so is this the case? Is this true? And like anything in TOK, it depends. Sometimes statistics will conceal a lot more than they reveal. Sometimes statistics will be very, very good, and they will reveal things clearly. And you guys did the presentation in my class, that short presentation. You guys did a good job on it. So the stuff that you have in those, you can take a look at them. You can like look at those presentations that you guys did and use those as, as, as sort of background if you choose to do this topic. Well, let's say something like, um, how would we talk about this? Um, Okay, remember there were certain things that the, the st a statistician can do to manipulate things. Um, they can, don't have to show the questions they ask. They, don't, they can stretch out the y-axis and do it however they like, stretch out the x-axis, do whatever they like, use kind of pictures and use kind of colors and, and you know, selective sampling and so on and so forth. And so these are the, some of the things that they do and they don't tell you what they're doing. And these are some of the things that they are concealing. Like for instance, where are they doing the sampling exactly? What questions are they asking exactly? Um, you know, how many people have been asked exactly? Now, good statistics will tell you that, and you guys found some good statistics, um, but the bad ones don't do it. Um, some of you guys showed some of the ones with, well, anyway. Um, okay, so let's talk about different areas of knowledge. How about, um, how would you approach this in science? Statistics reveal as much, conceal as much as they reveal in science. 
I would probably argue that you certainly, okay, yes, there are instances when this is the case. A really, really good one is uh, the Andrew Wakefield MMR vaccine study. He showed statistics how MMR vaccines caused a rise in autism, okay? What was concealed in these statistics was the very low number of subjects, there was only a few. What was also concealed was that he was given funded by lawyers for people who had uh, lawsuits against uh, MMR vaccine producers. Those were concealed. All he showed was his, his, his results. And it was, wasn't peer reviewed, it was concealed. The process behind the actual results, the statistics on the page are concealed. Uh, what was revealed was that MMR vaccine causes autism. That was revealed, it was wrong. It's since been disproven, or never been supported, put it that way. There's no evidence for it, it's wrong. And so many people still believe that. It was one of those really faulty things that got published too fast by magazines because Andrew Wakefield had a good reputation, had, he does, certainly doesn't anymore. Okay, but generally I think, if you're going to do good science, science is based on statistics. It's based on how many times you do a trial, how many times you get the same results, you know, what the sort of standard deviation between the results is, and what's the probability of it happening, and so on and so forth. Human science too. What's the probability of happening? And all these are statistical things that you calculate, and you come a probability ratio, you know, and if you get a probability of, you know, of, of 0 0.0001, that means that out of 10,000 tries, there's only one that probably doesn't work. So you have a very high probability, that's how you do it in natural, uh, human science, a psychology specifically. Um, but if you have all these statistics, well, have them, and if you're doing them right and you reveal the stuff, they don't have to conceal as much as they reveal. They don't have to. It's only if you allow it to. And so I think, yes, if people are wanting to manipulate, you can make the answer, yes, as well, if people want to manipulate things, they conceal stuff. But if they want to, if they want to, uh, you know, do a good job, then they reveal stuff. And you, you saw the differences between good and bad statistics when we get those, those things. Um, so, um, anyway, so, so how about, you know, something like science? You can find examples of good statistics and bad statistics and talk about it at times it reveals, at times it conceals, and that's how you should go about it. Uh, you can look at things in ethics, and they, politics and ethics kind of go hand in hand, okay? And politics is not human science, per se. Political science is a human science, but it's a science, okay? Politics, mentioning politics, and you have to get this clip here. I, I think a lot of people will make this mistake, especially since it's a, an election year this year. But mentioning politics is not human science. Politics is not human science. Political science is human science. It's different. There's some methodology and stuff in human science, or uh, political science, um, that they follow, and they come with hypotheses and conclusions and results and you know, evidence and so on and so forth. But politics is not. And I just want to emphasize that because it's very easy, especially when we're caught up in this and seeing numbers all the time, to think that that is an area of knowledge. Um, but anyway, so but if you're going to look in in um, ethics, which is tied up with politics, because politicians make a lot of ethical claims. And I think if you want to use stuff in politics, find politics which actually talks about ethical things, like you know the crime rates going up. And I mean that's an eth it's playing on an ethical thing. It's wrong for these governments to do this because they're allowing people to become abused or whatnot. And you can talk about it. And you can tie those types of statistics into the ethics those political statistics which are trying to prove an ethical point. And I think that's how you can make a connection and use the political stuff if you wanted, but you need to make the focus on the ethics. And I think if you look at the political bias stuff, both from the left and from the right, it's tons of bias stuff everywhere. And if you look at it, then I think you could find a lot of things where they are concealing things. And you guys found some uh, when we were doing that. Um, yeah, you found some things like that, which were, you know, they're not saying what's on the y-axis, they're using these colors and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff to be had. But, you know, um, okay. What more? History, do they use statistics in history? Sure. Um, you can have selective samples and stuff like this. So that's the idea. I mean, there's, I don't, there's a million art, I probably wouldn't even really bother to try to do this question with art, um, to be completely honest. Uh, religion, yeah, maybe. 
you might be able to find some statistical claims about religion, which are concealing things. But what you want to show, however you're going to do it, you talk about the two areas of knowledge, and however you're going to do it, it needs to be focused on how statistics conceal things, how they reveal things, and how they do so in both areas of knowledge that you're going to talk about. Okay? And that's really the basic idea. It's understanding the topic, but like I said, we've worked with it, so I'm, I'm kind of making this one a little bit shorter because we talked about it a fair amount already, so I don't need to re uh, be redundant too much. Um, with that, guys, I'll just swing on out of here. And that's the last unpacking the title question. And um, when, uh, oh, it's, it's like Pirates of the Caribbean. It is, look at that. Just like Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm Johnny Depp, that's me. Johnny Depp, I'm gonna save the damsel in distress even though I'm gonna act like I'm a bad guy, I'm really a good guy. That's right. Oh, 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 off I go. Just, whoa. That didn't work very well. I'll just stick to acting TLK.